So this project is unique. We're at the top floor of a high rise in downtown. As soon as you come in through the front door, before there was a lot of conflict um, in the architecture that you couldn't really see all the way through. So you notice in this project now, when you walk in the front door, you see a sight line and a flow all the way through to the back of the building. I wanted to bring in some visual aesthetics and textures. So when you come in, what we did is the architectural molding. This style is a very French rebirth, if you will. You know, it's got a lot of modern features to it, but a lot of the molding and plaster work um, gives it that textured, unique Renaissance feel. When you come in, the, the even the way that we ran the Chevron flooring leads your eye and draws it through. I think that with specifications and design, we really want, you know, the, the design to lead you through with the eye. On down, and down, on down, down. The, the powder bathroom is actually one of my favorite pieces. The walls, we did a high lacquered piano finish, a vintage wallpaper in the ceiling, and a really unique custom mosaic for the floor. I'd like that bathroom. I think powder bath should be sexy and unexpected and kind of like throw you off the jam of the rest of the space. <laughs> For us, um, psychology to me plays a role in part of business, part of designing. So before we really design, we, it's important for us to really understand our clients. I think what makes us successful is the diversity of our portfolio. That diversity stems from each project being designed specifically for our clients. With that, there's a huge psychological approach to it. You know, sometimes people, our clients are going through things. The design space is a rebirth for a place for them to live in. Sometimes um, it's just change in their life. And sometimes it's just like, fuck it, you know, we're just doing a new project. We want it to look really cool and bold and sexy, invite all of our friends over. This building is a bit dated, so part of this project was a complete remodel. We came in, reprogrammed the whole space, brought everything down to studs and fresh programming. The style, he is a energetic, huge personality client. Um, obviously, you'll see throughout the project a lot of bold, interesting artwork. We really wanted the space to just feel alive and connected to his energy and feel that as soon as you walk in the door. The color palettes in here are blacks, golds, grays, um, but in the dining nook we chose a really bold, deep green. Something unexpected, there's not really that color anywhere else that it doesn't need to be. You know, the eye just kind of unexpectedly sees it, but it draws your eye through the space. When you're walking down the hallway, um, one of the, our favorite rooms is the study. Uh, we chose a really deep black purple, so it's just very sexy, it's warm, there's a lot of really cool interest in hip-hop artwork, to travel books, to shoe collection art, and we really wanted that to be a special place for him to kind of bring family and friends into, have a cocktail, and just feel really at home and comfortable. So the master bedroom overlooks the city. We did a lot of cool molding and plaster in the ceiling to continue the character of the vintage um, detailing for him. As you travel from the bedroom into the bathroom, we chose a black onyx marble for the flooring, a smooth modern black tub, and we did a vintage marble fireplace mantle behind it. It's non-functional, but it kind of gives that cool character so when you're bathing or just relaxing after a long day, you're picking up on artistry again and like the detail and the sophistication of the space.
he has a beautiful little girl, um, and so we really wanted her bedroom to be very special. And also, as she grows up, there's some elements that she could have good storage and organization, but you know, we want it to be fun and playful for her, not feel too sophisticated, and that's always a trick in design, is like how do you make a little girl feel, or any children feel really good in a sophisticated space, but not have it be overdone? So I think we've really accomplished that for them. You know, there's a bit of design that we have to remove ego you know from our design spaces and really make sure that the space is functional and aesthetically pleasing for the client and really bring in some elements of like wow and surprise and artistry this project for us every project is um, a chance for us to practice our skill set and our passions and this particular project really hit home for me because of the excitement of the artwork and just the client in general is super fun to work with. Sometimes we're really sad, you know, when we get done working with a project and we'll definitely miss him. Um, for us, we like to bring rock and roll elements into all of our designs and also the attitude and personality of the space. And it was just a really good alignment for the client and designer's relationship for my whole team and I. So we're really gonna miss him, but we're definitely gonna throw parties here in the future. And <laughs> No, we're really, we're really proud to be a part of it and we hope that his friends and family really enjoy it.